Welcome you into the presence of the Lord Jesus. Right now, our lunch hour. Encouragement hour. This is an encouragement hour. We love you and always pray for you. Those who are viewing us, the our listeners, the wherever. We love you and we pray for you. Send in your prayer request. Send in your prayer request. We are going to pray for you. It's a time for the word of God. And prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who are following us. Awake someone. Get someone. Call for someone and tell that person that the, 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 the service has started. Hallelujah. We're coming to you from Kitara. Kitara. And this is the, the church is called Union Miracle Center. This is the place to be. Where the record breakers are raised. Mission makers. Pioneers. Great leaders. Hallelujah. Amen. For us, we don't despise you. We know sooner or later you are turning from a person because that's the work of the Holy Spirit. From the beginning, the Holy Spirit has been rearing things because the devil came to see you, kill and destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and his abundance. And when the Spirit of Jesus comes to you, you rearrange your life according to God's plan. Hallelujah. Amen. So last time uh, we, 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 we had started uh, a topic called restoration. Restoration. God is going to restore you in the name of Jesus. We saw David when they had burnt the city of Zikaraj, everything was burnt. But they never saw it as a burnt city. They, they saw it as something that was there. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I'm encouraging you as well. Whatever things you have lost, it. Many things are going to be again. That God's going to restore you. Yet, yet you thought it could be uh, Second King chapter 6 from verse 1 to 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First King, Second King, sorry. Yes. Second Kings, chapter six. Where is the prayer request you? Chapter six. You can send. Where is the prayer request you? Syndica, we are going to pray for you. We are going to pray for you. Where is the prayer request you? Send. In Chapter Chapter Five. Tomorrow we shall have a class. Over zillion class. Over zillion class. Tomorrow we shall look at God. And we shall look at God. And we shall look at God. How we can bless us. And look at the devil. And we shall look at the devil. And look at the devil. And we shall 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 look at the devil. We have that service tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Those that want to show their, uh, uh, their again, sales, you want to give your offering, your tithe, your, your pledge, numbers the screen. numbers are right on the screen. You can use those numbers. And God will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. The topic is restoration. Okay. Amen. Verse 6. Yes. The man of God said, where did it fall? We are in chapter 6 from verse 1. Okay, verse 1. Verse 1 says, And the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, See now the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. Please let us go to the Jordan. Done. And let every man take a beam from there. And, and let us make there a place where we may dwell. And he answered, Go. Then one said, Please consent to go with your servants. And he answered, I'll go. So he went with them. And when 
they came to the Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was cutting down a tree, the an uh, axe head fell into the water. And he cried out and said, Alas, Master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where did it fall? And he showed him the place. So he cut off a stick and threw it in there and made the iron float. Therefore he said, Pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and took it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is an amazing story. That's why I want to tell you today. It starts with you. It all starts with you. Many a time, the enemy starts with us. You yourself start with you. That you have no destiny. You cannot do it. You cannot attain anything. You have no future. It starts always. Even this one starts with you. And I said these words in the last. And they said the place where we are is too small for us. So it starts with you. So you are 100% responsible for your life. You are 100% responsible for your destiny. Each one had to cut his or her own tree. Every man had to cut his or her own tree. This morning, you are going to have to cut your own tree. Even you today, before you think of us, consider your life. You are going to fight for yourself to make sure God helps you. Whatever the devil is going to do, to be restored. Whatever you lost, to be restored. Some people never mind. They are used to that. That's why I, when I look at you, I don't see you the way I do it. But I see God as able to turn you into what we've never expected. expected. So the unaxed Bible says we are God's battle axes. We with us that God has no no kings and kingdoms, no horses and their riders. No we are God's battle axes. No that, axe. no that, that axe is your life. And I said the place where we are is too small. They are something else they said. They said as we go, we shouldn't go out. I want to tell you today, you must connect with the Holy Spirit. When you connect with our spirit, everything will be possible. Whatever you lost, will come back. Whatever you come back. Come back to life. Whatever they took away from you, we come back to you. Yes, we Praise Jesus. And said, so please, and said to So they went with him. When they got there, the axe head fell into the water. They were so poor. They were extremely poor. The prophets, the Bible says, because when we look at them, the water church. They were using the one axe and it was just borrowed. And they said, Alas, Master. Hallelujah. Amen. They said, Alas. There's something they were used to use. The axe head was borrowed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The axe had been borrowed. They feared what the, the, the credit system there is a system which had God, God had written concerning the creditors. Go to Exodus chapter 22. Verse 14. Yes. And if a man borrows anything from his neighbor, and it becomes injured or dies, the owner of it not being with it, he shall surely make it good. Hello. Amen. This is why they feel they are poor, <laughs> extremely poor, and the low state. If you took someone's thing and they don't have it, and that's what they are, and you take it, and you lose it, and you get, get gets injured, whether they like it or not, you have to restore it to the owner. You have to give it to them. And they said, 
for it was borrowed. <laughs> you know, think about that situation. You don't have money. You have just got an, uh, uh, an axe. But now, it's within the deep waters. Jordan. Jordan is very deep. Liver. So they said it last master. But when they said that, they remember. They had the spirit of the Lord. That's why you must cooperate with the Holy Spirit. If you are to be restored. Hello, hello, please, hello, please. Hello. please. They said it was just borrowed. He asked, Where did it? He asked, oh, Where did it? Go? And he showed him where so it was. That's why you need to be a person who didn't record. You don't pretend to be straightforward. Bango, you get a mazima. Say the truth. You get a mazima. Bro, you know. If you sin, you get a mazima. Say the truth. Don't camouflage. Go to Psalm, Psalm 91. Zabuli chenda muem. He asked them, where did it fall? From the praise place is, is we pretend. I'll give an example. Adam, Adam when he God fell, in the, God, in the moment he fell, God asked him, Adam, where are you, Adam? And he pretended. He refused to say the truth. Yet God could see everything. He had lost his position. The devil confused him. And God told him. When he started the report, blaming him, is the woman you gave me. But the woman was not responsible for Adam was 100% responsible for his sin. Hello. Please. But the guy tried to justify himself. The woman you gave me. Instead of saying yes, I agree. So I'm telling you today. If God is to restore our inheritance, truth has to be priority. Truth has to be top priority. Let's read. Psalm 91 verse 1. From verse 1. Verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Go ahead. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Not people. It's God that you're going to trust. Trust the Lord. You are going to lose your positions and righteousness. Tell them your problems about your problems. And they will end up just backbiting you or discouraging you. It is impossible. Who has ever seen that? Think about this accident. It was so heavy. It was not the waters. Very heavy. But the power of God resurrected it. Restored it. So I'm telling you today. God Almighty. What you see as as God is going to restore it. He's going to bring it back. What you see as God is going to God is going to bring it back. What you see as God is going to bring it back. It says, yes. 
Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fire and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers. That is destructions. Hello. Please. Those which want to be destroyed. When you come back, whatever wants to be destroyed, God Himself destroys. Whatever wants to be destroyed, God destroys. Whatever wants to be destroyed, God stabs them. Whatever wants to be destroyed, God ashamed them. Let me tell you, God. You think it's too much. 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 We get ashamed. We cannot be restored. You have no destiny. They think. One day I had a girlfriend. But when she saw me broke, I said that one is vomited. I cannot regurgitate that one. I vomited that one. But after some time, she tried to seek charms because I was saying her. Whoever was abusing it, they will work for you, but they are unable. They have to first feel no. You know, it's not easy for you to get, to get her today. She's having a body meeting. Body meeting Maybe tomorrow. Oh, but to feel the appointment form. form Hello. Please. That's where we're going. <laughs> we are serving a powerful God. God of Almighty. God of Almighty. That's why you should stay Don't stay But he is your shadow He has a lot of power to help you What you see after is going to come back to life the axle was so heavy that the head came back without anything missing. When David saw and stuck everything came back from the small small from the small small from the small small from the small are you hearing? Go ahead. Amen. It says, verse 4. Verse 4 says, Yes. He shall cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall I want to show you that when you are dealing with the Lord, the truth is paramount. They ask, where did the axe head? The truth Amazima. is a redemption, a deliverance, and a protective force. Are you hearing? The truth has the ability to protect you, to redeem you, and to deliver you, and to heal you, to keep you. The truth protects the accent. He, they asked him, did it fall? He said, he, it was healed. The moment he knew where it had fallen, they had to, 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 to bring it back. Let me tell you this. One of the things that will help you to bring back your life, first of all, is prayer. You have to be so prayerful. You have to pray. For prayer means, God needs you. Lord, I need you. If you don't help me, I don't have any other. So you must pray. Secondly, you have to praise the Lord. You will have to praise the Lord. Pastor David Makoko was talking about praying. Praise God. God. Because crying is the devil's praise. 
But once you praise God, God comes in your praises. And once he comes, he will, man, he will manifest his power. Hello. Please. You are Don't accept Christ with whatever you that, you have, that you have lost. Mindset with it that it exists. It exists. Instead of Christ, and you just you praise your God. Keep Are you hearing the song? You see God. Katonda. As a powerful God. Mulabanga Katondo Aman. Tumulamira Manafu. Not among the weak. There's nothing that moves God like making him a You neighbor. praise him. Another thing. You be merciful to other people. Bawa Chisa Eria Bantuabalala. David met a man on the way who was very hungry. And very thirsty. Three days sick. I've been so hungry here. And fed him. Then God used him. He directed him where all his possessions were. And I want to tell you, when God is restoring you, you will even use the things you despise. The sticker was not magnetic. But they had to get the, 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 the accident from the workers. Think about it. A mere stick. Which has no attract an accident that was at the bottom of the sea. Don't despise anyone that comes before you. As God restores you, you can use someone you can use, you can use anything that you have. That's why we've seen people after your prayer. Just believe God. Whenever you pray, just believe God. I saw a lady once. God told her when he was restoring her and told her can clean the toilet. You just follow the voice of God. When we're dealing with God, we don't struggle. We just trust Him. Trust Him. That is faith. Trust Him. Hello. Please. Hello. Please. The woman was told to go and clean church toilets. She cleaned it. From there, they gave her a huge hospital. And it was her own. Hello. Why? Hello. Please. Hello. Please. Whatever you lost, the power of God will bring it back. will bring it back. will give it back. Whatever you lost, the sweat of the Lord is going to help you to bring it back to you. Think about the death of Jesus. The power that brought Jesus from the grave was the power of the Holy Spirit. But he had been dead. Now, if what you see as dead, see it as alive. The message of the means even things we see as dead will come back to life. Whatever you see as you lost, it will come back to you. What you see as having lost will come back to you. It will give you a testimony. My wife, someone got a car and gave it to another person. Yet had been meant to be my wife's. And so someone else was more no, no, no. than she and then gave that car to the other person. But I went before the Lord and cried unto him. As I cried unto God, God said, I'm going to bring that, back, that car back to you. 
I'm going to give you my, your wife's car. So I thought, it's the same car that will be brought back. But what has happened? When he got brought to the car back, the same name of, of the brand of the car, but a new model. I'm telling you, whoever's watching, whatever you see as bad, God is going to back to you with it. Yes. God is going to bring it back to you with his prophet. See it as existing. Without any peace missing. But we are saying it's a new model. For it was borrowed. Much as you have borrowed, there's an anointing power of God that can restore it to you. I will testify again. I lost my twins, buried them. In the midst of crying unto God, God showed me what was coming. As I cried unto God, He told me I'm going to restore your children. They are alive today. A boy, a mulenzi, and a girl. Whatever feature was on the others, those ones came back with it. And God showed me. Samogere. Don't worry. Whatever I see us there, I have the ability to I don't know if I'm speaking to anyone. Fear not. Totia. Have faith in God. Hello. Please. Hello. Please. Think big. Trust God. See the bigness of God. God is bigger than us. The situation in which you are. Go to Isaiah 54. Hello. Please. Hello. 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 Please. Whatever it is that you lost, God will bring back to you. I don't know if I'm speaking to anyone. Read verse 1. 54, Isaiah 54, verse 1. Verse 1 says, Sing, O barren. You just praise God. Don't cry. Don't mourn. Cry is devil's praising. Just sing and praise God. See God as Almighty God. Verse 2. Verse 2. Verse 2. Verse 2. You who have not born, break forth into singing and cry aloud. You who have not travailed with child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married. Says the Lord. And you know, let me show you. This woman had been bad. Whoever had killed her. She took her hand. 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 She took I encourage you. I encourage you. I encourage you. Trust God. Verse 1 says, Yes. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. My heart is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies. Because I rejoice in your salvation. There is no, there's none holy like the Lord. For there is none besides you. Nor is there any rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let no, let no arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is the God of knowledge. And by him actions are weighed. The, the bows of the man. That is a song and a, it's a song or a rima, at the same time it's a prayer. 
There is times when you pray, your prayer can be a song. This was a song as well as a prayer. The guy, the guy is praising God. He sings his salvation. She sings his greatness. You see, you see his power. There is a power. There is a power. Now I'm going to give you the barren we give. I but I had children. I'm going to give you the barren we give. I'm going to give you the barren we give. I'm going to give you the barren we give. I'm going to give you the barren we give. You are going to increase. You are great. You are bigger than the circumstances around you. Mata robo shikata. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse four. Yes. The bows of the mighty man are broken. E mitego jara zira jime nyese. And those who stumbled and guarded with strength. Abe sitalanga kakati bamba zidua mani. Those who are well. Uh, those who are full have hired themselves out for bread. And those who are hungry have ceased to hunger. There are things which have reached their expired days. There are things whose end is now. Hello, yes. hello, please. Those used to have are now your faith is going to change your sins. Your faith, Fiona, will connect to the things you don't see with your eyes. Someone is bearing, but they are showing him. That's why Abraham and no children are showing him how many people would have. So if you can count the stars or the signs, that those are your descendants now. So those that you see as they have overlooked overlook them. Because you are greater than those guys you are seeing now who seem to be working. The working class guys. Hello. 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 Why? You guys are about to make you leap over walls. Go ahead. Man. He says. Yes. Even the barren has born seven. And she who has many children has become feeble. Whatever you're going to do, you're going to give back. Is going to be it's divine. It's going to strike all the other people. It's going to strike all the other people. It's going to all those who are going to be all those who are going to be And then they're going to be all those who are going to be introduce you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, Verse six. Yes. Verse six. The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and lifts up. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ashes. Nasura abade asabiriza nga o asabiriza aromba ali. He lifts those beggars from the ashes to, to set them among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. You see, from your shame, behind your shame, there is your glory. Hello, please. The devil wants to put you down. That God is going to lift you. They are really choosing you. But God is going to just fight you. Hello, please. Hello, please. Hello, please. Hello, please. Hello, please. You are great. 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 
The axe had seemed very heavy. But God made it light. It seemed as so very hard to come out of the mire. But God brought it up. God is taking you back to your workplace. The axe was the axe head was supposed to be cutting trees. But it had lost its purpose. Now I'm pleased. So whoever is listening, whatever you're supposed to do, the devil dropped you out of it. But God is going to help you to take you back to the score written of you. To take you to what God said about you. Are we together? God is going to rearrange your life. From a mess up life. To a living message. Are we together? You testify. You testify. You testify. The devil wanted to twist us. I was a pastor. I was originally, I was supposed to be a pastor. But I, for years and years, I was a businessman. But once the Holy Spirit came to me, he positioned me. You are about to be positioned in what God meant for you. Hello, please. Hello, please. Hello, please. Hello, please. Second Kings, from verse chapter eight, from verse four. As we are about to pray, where is the prayer request? You send your prayer request. We are about to pray. Start seeing whatever you lost as existing. Whatever they stole from you, start seeing it as existing. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 4 says, Yes. Then the king talked with Gehaz, the servant of the man of God. Saying, Tell me, please, all the great things Elisha has done. Now it happened as he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life that there was the woman whose son he had restored to life. Appealing to the king for her, for her house and uh, her land. And Geha said, My lord or king, this is the woman. And this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed. A certain officer for her, saying, Restore all that was hers and all the proceeds of the field from the day that she left. The Until now, you are going to claim all the proceeds you lost. From your childhood up. Paka. Hello. Why? Hello. Why? Hello. Why? Hello. Why? Hello. Please. The same part that raises the dead is the same part that can restore you to you whatever you lost. That power is the same power that restores you what they had stolen from you. They took her land. Maybe you are here. You are like suffering. Maybe you have no future. But you have a full village. 
Hello? Please. Hello? Please. The woman went to the king, the other king. But for us, we are going to the king of kings. The Lord of Lord, the Lord. We are kings. And we are priests. Look at the word of God. You are a king and a priest. But we have our king, the king of kings. Hello. 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 Revelation chapter 5 from verse 8. We are going to pray. You are going to claim whatever you lost, whatever seemed to be dead is going to be restored to you. The power that restored that act. The power that brought back the brother. The power that brought Jesus. The power that brought the land back to you is going to restore to you whatever you had lost. Some of you are renting. But you are supposed to be landing ladies. Landlords. But your land is coming. Your land is coming. Your cut was coming. Your cut are coming. Hello. Please. Hello. Please. What we see now is a fact about you. But that is not the truth about you. But what you are going to become is the truth about you. God is truth. God is truth. And his truth is going to defend your destiny. It will defend it. Read. That is uh, Yes. Revelation chapter 5 verse 8. Now when he had taken the scroll the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the land, each having a harp and golden boughs full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Meaning, the four living creatures means the things you see as dead things, when you make prayer, when you pray, believe that even the things that have been dead, they are going to receive life. In the presence of the Lord, there is life. There is fullness of joy. Go ahead. Amen. And they sang a new song. That's joy. Saying, you are about to sing a song. Like Hannah did. You are too about to sing a song. You are saying, you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to our God and we shall reign on the earth. Hello. Please. Another thing that will help you to restore what you lost is authority. You have made us kings and priests and we will reign on the earth. Together, we're going to pray now. Echiti wacho chicken, chive waro chigende, mama wanga, akalo sako. 
kake gato ko nganyo ko ko onya ime chitiba e chitiba cho chike chife waro chigende mumo wanga akalo sako kake gato ko nganyo kukuro let your growing glory fall in this lord let god fall from him to the nations let your fall cross rest in this place as we gather to see you let your growing let your glory the glory of God is restoring your Yes, yes lord
your health, whatever you have lost, yes, well, upon the Lord, yes, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, prophet. in the name of Jesus, prophet. in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Right now, whatever the principal, yes, and the powers of the dead, yes, taken away from you. Oh, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me. Right now, call upon you. Reach out, reach out, whatever the hell. Abrisa, whatever the hell. Abrisa, whatever the hell. Asaba, please pray. Itaka tonda, please call upon you. Abrisa, whatever the hell. Asaba, please pray. Wanda Maria, we can follow. On Facebook, on Facebook. Asaba, please pray. Wanda Maria, we can follow. On Facebook, Asaba, please pray. Itaka tonda, call upon you. Itaka tonda, call upon the Lord. Don't kill us, 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 Manjikata yere babo, mashaka yere babo ya peace. It's coming out. Aga manje lo kumi yere babo. Aga manje lo shuma gomba. Aga manje lo kumi yere babo. 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 By the Spirit of the Lord. Yes, this is the time. Yes, for restoration. Yes, this is the time. Yes, for restoration. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, because it's not a man. Yes, that he should lie. Yes, he's a God. Yes, what is on his word? Now cut it. Now clean the water. Now clean the water. Now clean the water. Your promise. Your promise. Now cut it. Now clean the water. 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 Pray like Hannah did in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalm one is the seventh verse twenty. Is a bit too much. Psalm one is the seventh verse twenty. Is a bit too much. Psalm one is the seventh verse twenty. Is a bit too much. Psalm one is the seventh verse twenty. Is a bit too much. Psalm one is the seventh verse twenty. Is a bit too much. Psalm one is the seventh verse twenty. Is a bit too much. Psalm one is the seventh verse twenty. God is taking your bodies. Atonda akwata kumili jamu. Someone have been with a mental problem. Walwa ba dino busiwo kuwongo. But God is touching your head. Atonda akwata kumtuwego. Marobo shata la ba kata ta yerebo. Jale kete la ba kata ta yerebo. Jale kete la ba kata ta yerebo. There is resurrection. Walwo kuziwao. There is resurrection. Walwo kuzokira. Read. Psalm 107, verse 20 says, He sent His word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. You are going to call upon the Lord. That all the waters of destruction. That will destroy your property. Destroy you. May God make it dry. May God break all those waters. As He break the waters, they want to kill the Israelites when they are crossing the Red Sea. Makata Rabba, Makata Rabba, Makata Rabba, Makata Rabba, Makata Rabba, Makata Rabba, Makata Rabba. There is someone who had enemies around you, but the God of Abraham is separating them away from you. He's separating them from you. He was speaking ill of you. He's taking them away from you. Psalm 109. Psalm 3, verse 19 and 20. Okay. Says, whoever has pain in the next ten minutes, 
Ugenda kusamangu kutaku mtuwe You're gonna cry, cry unto God Ugenda kusamangu kutaku mtuwe And say Lord the power that brought you from the grave Gasinkare hindu wa dekuna Didn't meet that sickness upon you Rechikamba chakatuwa By the word of God Uwajisewa You are healed Rechikamba chakatuwa By the word of God Your job is restored. By the word of God. Your marriage is being restored. By the word of God. God is healing that relationship that has been on the verge of corruption. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 19. Verse 19. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. And his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord you his angels. Who excel in strength. Who do his word. Hearing the voice of his word. Because of God's voice. From the word we have heard. Gorad. has dispatched a host of angels to come and rescue you. Pray to God. The angels are excellent. Pray now. God is dealing with those demons and those ghosts and they are dealing with you pray now they are praying 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 now they are Praise His kingdom reigns over all. His kingdom reigns over all things. Praise God! God has put His kingdom. His kingdom has come to rescue. Has come to save you. Has come to sort of lost. Has come to save you. 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 Yes. Saint is coming home. Your man is coming back. Now I'm going to go with this prophet. Ibajeta yerebo. Jikandara jota, reprojikandara jota, 
Midara Joko Yerebo, Ziko Yarababa Mandere Ziko, Nishaka Yarababa Bashata, Mendoro Brozika Yarababa, Masheka Yerebaba. May you touch us, Lord. May you revive what was dead, O oh God. Bring back to life, O oh God. Amanya Gazuk is a little shit to come here, Wamokama. There is healing. There is healing. There is healing. There is healing. There is a cut. There is a cut. There is a cut. There is a There is a pancreas and the liver getting healed. There is blood being transferred. There is blood being cleansed. There is blood being cleansed. There is blood being you have been despised. The time of begging is up. Send your prayer request. Send your prayer request. Send your prayer request. Send your offering. Send your tithes. Okay, the numbers on the screen. The numbers on the screen. Send, send, send. Keep sending. Your seed. Send your seed. Send your testimony. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Angela Namugera. Namugera Angela. God bless you. Wakama kuomkisa. Aunt Nakito. Aunt Nakito. God bless you. Katona kuomkisa. I. Muhumbura. Muhumbura. Muhumbira. Pretty. Pretty. God bless you. Wakama kuomkisa. May God wish bless you. Wakama kuomkisa. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amina. Angela Namugera. Angela Namugera. Need the grace of God to help her. To start saving. Our family to be involved by Christ. And the end of rejection. In her life. Father, King of Glory, I bless you and, mag and mag magnify you. I know you are the Almighty God. Your power serves. Your power heals. May you rebuke in the name of Jesus. Whatever the devil met for Angel Namkerua. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you surround the earth. You serve as a shield. In the name of Jesus. I pray. That our family, and the family will be revived by the power of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I now declare and decree a revival of their family. In the name of Jesus, I now declare and decree the glory of God to be upon her. In the name of Jesus, go to answer her. I pray that God will answer prayers. God will bless you. God will increase you. God will show things. You have been seeing. You are going to be full of visions. I now declare and decree that whatever the devil meant for you can't be for God's goodness. In the name of Jesus, Namugera, open your spiritual eyes and marriage. God is having a lot of water for you. And I pray that the Lord of Jesus, the King of glory, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, will come and save you from spiritual blindness. And I pray that we bring you are right partner. In the name of Jesus, I now pray that the angel who does the things of marriage will locate your husband and your husband comes and finds you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You pray to God for that land that you need. 
the hand of God wrestle with that person. God will give you the marriage. God will restore the axe head. God that is holding your land. God that gave you marriage. To give you marriage to give you rest. That God visit you. That God show himself as God. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Muhumbira. Muhumbira. Pretty. Pretty. I pray that God will touch you. May God touch you. And your life touch. That way you may touch as many people as possible on the behalf of God. In the name of Jesus. And restoration of our keys. It's my prayer today, that the God has will judge you today. He has the keys of your house to bring you up. That you had lost. To bring you back. That you had lost. To bring you back. That you had lost. To bring you back. To bring you back. That you had lost. Thank you, Jesus. Keep sending your prayer request. We pray for you. Tomorrow we are together. As we are in class. I pray that God will protect you. I pray that God will raise you. Above your enemies. I pray that we bless this in the country. As God is in turn to go out. We will be blessed. I pray that God will bless. Whatever you touch with your hands. In the name of Jesus. And I make my prayer. And the Lord. That God opens his good treasure, his good treasure for you in the name of Jesus. I pray that favor will surround us as a in the name of Jesus. May his God be your God before you and be your God in the name of Jesus. Be blessed and have a good day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.